welcome back to my channel. Sorry the lighting is kind of off right now. It's It was fine and then I started recording and it's kind of too bluish now, which is weird. Anyway, um, today I'm going to be doing my um, November plan with me. So I'm going to flip over. October technically still hasn't ended yet. Um, but I do have it finishing up on this page here, so I'm actually going to do a cover page for the month of November, which I don't usually do, but I figured since I have this blank page here that I'll do that. So I'm going to start off by, I can't find a pencil with an eraser anywhere, so this is all going to be just going freehand, I guess you could say. Um, I think I'm going to do, I know everyone's doing like a wreath thing and then November and I don't like to always copy people but I think that's what I'm going to do too. So I'm just going to, oh this is going to be so, so bad. okay. So I have this top to a candle here. I'm going to place back there, trace around, alright that's probably going to be the most perfect looking thing in this video, unfortunately. Also let me zoom you in a little bit, there we go. Okay so how about we put in some leaves, and I'm saying how about as in I have no clue I'm getting that looks like a football okay this is gonna be great this is gonna be really great we're gonna we're thriving here we really are all right let's put in okay I was going for oh my gosh um oh no let's do more of a ribbed thing that looks a bit better not so much like a football okay I'm just gonna go in with leaves. Actually, I'll be right back. I'm gonna look up ideas and then I'll be right back. Okay, I found some inspiration and I'm gonna go off of that. Okay, so I stopped recording because this was going to take a lot of time to do, um, but I finished my wreath. I think it looks a lot better than it had started looking beforehand. Um, I don't know if I want to color this in or not. I, originally I was going to, but now I don't really know. So I think I'm going to post on Instagram um, a poll whether or not I should color this in because I really don't know. I think it looks pretty good the way it is now, but it would probably look even better if it was colored in, or maybe that would make it worse. Not really sure. So yeah, I'll put, put that poll on Instagram. But for now, I'm going to put in... And then here again, it's get this marker's getting streaky. 
This is by Tombo Fuganeski. Um, I've been using it for a while, so I don't know why it's acting like this. Kind of weird. Anyway. Definitely weird. Okay, so I have November written on there. So I'm gonna flip the page. This is gonna be the calendar and I'm gonna do a big time lapse for it. While and actually my camera battery is dying, so I think I'm gonna have to stop filming now and come back to this at some other time when my battery is not dying. Hopefully the lighting is better than cute. All right, so full disclosure, this is like a week later after that last clip. I've finished making um, the wreath and I put a picture I put a picture of it up on my Insta story asking if I should color it in or leave it um, black and white and overwhelming majority said to color it in. So I'm gonna pull out some colors, some Tombows, some mild liners, and get to it. The November cover is now filled up and I really like that I used the purple and blue um, because I think it just brings a bit more to it, kind of out of the norm because when you ever see a blue pine cone, it's not really a thing. So now on this page, actually let me put all this stuff off to the side. Alright, so here we're going to fill in the calendar and I'm going to do a full spread calendar like I did in um, the m in August I believe no September I mean I might have been August too oh great I did not want to go that far <sighs> messing up already Sorry if the light is changing at all. Um, I am using natural lighting. As we've all learned, I have terrible lighting here. So really, can't complain too much though because it's just out of my control. While I'm filling up these squares, I would like to mention that I've bought some um, planner stickers that I've been really excited to use. So I bought some from um, the Coffee Monster Co. And 
another Etsy shop, a smaller shop on Etsy. Um, and that, I bought them in September. And I think they arrived to my house after I already left for my internship. So I told my mom to send it over to me. She said she would, but keeps forgetting, which is fine, you know, no rush. But I'm pretty sure I bought some from the Coffee Monster Co. that were like Halloween themed or fall themed. And now it's November, so I'm like, <clears throat> I really only have so much time to use it. Cause soon it'll be snowing and that won't be very helpful then. Won't be very fallish when it starts snowing. Um, and I also purchased, <clears throat> sorry for my voice, I also purchased, um, in one of those, like, oops packets, so, like, when stickers don't come out the way the sellers want them to, um, they sell them at a discounted price. I bought a pack from Nikki Plus Three, I believe is her name. I know she's really popular, I've just never, um really bought anything from her before and so that that shipped that should be out soon so when I get all of that then I'll do a haul of all the stickers that I got and they're gonna go either in my bullet journal or like my my happy planner or whatever fits for that day okay so I have all my squares done. I guess I can number and number them now. So I'll speed that up. Alrighty. Um, numbered in, and I think I'm going to use my purple combo, my dark purple. Make sure we're in frame. We are. Okay, November. Do you remember? September. Okay. So, calendar filled up. I'm gonna put over here, since I made this line there and I didn't wanna do that, I'm gonna write in, I'm gonna change that to a monthly goal checklist. monthly goals and put another box there to even it out and now it doesn't even look like there's any mistake um I think I'll go fill that back later after I have the rest of my spreads done all right over here <clears throat> we're gonna do my habit tracker so last month, I kind of fell off the wheel with bullet journaling in general. So my habit tracker last month didn't come through too well. I know I did a lot of things. It just didn't, didn't reflect it in the tracker. And then same for my sweeping tracker. I forgot a lot of mornings to do that before I really got out of bed. Since yesterday was Halloween, what were you all dressed up as, if you dressed up at all? Or did you just stay home and chill out? I, for Halloween, well for a Halloween party, I dressed up as Laura Croft from Tomb Raider. And I, I've dressed up as her before with a much better costume than I had this year. I really just put on some like 
hiking clothes basically and called myself Lord Croft um, just because I didn't want to go out and go out and buy a costume when I really had no need to. Um, so what were you all for, for Halloween or what did you do for Halloween? Um, last night I went with my friend to a brewery so that he could compete in a, um, in a costume contest to win like $400 and he actually won it. So that was pretty cool. Um, he's dressed up as him from the Powerpuff Girls and it looked awesome. Well, I guess, I guess I should say he dressed up as him because that's how they always say, say it in the show. I did pretty well with my no spend month in October. I did spend some days, um, but in general, I did all right. I could have done better though. Um, and by better as in, there were a few things, but like I definitely didn't need to buy, but I also kind of deserve to treat myself to. So it's definitely a hard balance. Definitely a hard balance. So I'm gonna try again this month. Um, more so just to keep myself accountable of the amount of money I'm spending. Um, you know, just to be like, well, I already, I spent unnecessary money last week, so maybe I don't need to do that this week. You know, typical things like that. I really like this. I think that looks really good. Very cute and pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my sleeping log. And oh my gosh. Okay, so like I said, I really fell off the, fell off the bandwagon. Not the bandwagon, but I've, you know, it's obviously not completely complete. Um, so I'm gonna try again later, I'm gonna try again this month to be more diligent about filling that out. But I'm actually gonna, I'll write out the dates, but I'm not gonna write out the times right now just because that takes so long and I don't want to do that on camera and then have to speed it up because I can only speed things up so fast. And if you can tell, I'm not really going for a theme at all this month, um, other than just like fall, I guess you could say. Um, not really, just not really feeling the whole theme. Cause last month I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do like scary creatures or no, like horror movies, so like my sleeping log was Nightmare on Elm Street, and then like nothing came out of that, you know? Because right after, after my sleeping log, well I had my like doodle challenges, but then I did this with like flowers and mountains, that's not creepy at all, not spooky. So I'm kind of not doing any themes anymore. All right, log this way. Just makes things a bit easier on me. Especially when I'm kind of rushing to make a spread, then I don't have to worry about it being um, themed in a particular way. Alright, so that's my sweeping log, and like I said, I'll go back and fill out the hours later. After the sweeping log, I'm gonna do my oh-so-cute doodle, mama loves fluttering doodle, and rando doodles. Um, and I write those out, and I didn't 
look it up beforehand. So I'm just gonna write the titles here first. I'm gonna go look up those prompts, so I will be right back. Okay, so I can't find the oh so cute doodles prompt just yet, but I did put in the numbers to fill it out, and I messed up on my counting, so I had to put 26 through 30 on the bottom row instead of in the columns, but you know, that's whatever. So, um, for the llamas love lettering every damn day challenge, we'll put, um, Llamas love lettering. Led da da da. Um, for November, so fill that out. And would it be quicker to print it off? Yes, it definitely would be, but I don't have a printer with me, so makes it a bit harder. And for this month, it looks like she went with, um, like, basic things, as in you know, the first one is pumpkin spice latte, so like that kind of basic, which I think is funny. Okay, so that is the lettering challenge. And then we also have the rando doodles. And it looks like the theme for this one is I guess, like, typical planner stuff. That's what it's looking like to me, at least, but I'll write this down too and fast forward so it's not too long. Okay, I messed up somewhere because she has 10 in all of her, in each row. One, two, three, four. Oh, cause I didn't, where did five go? Oh my gosh. All right. So that, those were the challenges that I'm going to be doing for today, and I am so sorry my laptop was in the shot this entire time. That's so unhelpful for everyone. Alright, there we go. Okay, so on this page now, I think I'm going to keep it, or I'm going to make it into a job checklist and I want to do that so that I can keep track of any jobs I'm applying for or that I see or that people send to me um, because I do want to have a job lined up after my internship. And jobs are hard to get. So, and if, if you're a recent grad or just also on the job hunt, then you know exactly what I mean. So I'll put, um, position. Um, 
location. <clears throat> oh, um, for filling out the application or app started. be a good word for saying if I guess I could just put refer and then that would be a yes or no and then going down hopefully I don't need all the space but just in case Okay, and then I'll put a little food. Alrighty, so that would be my job list. Um, and then on um, these pages, I'll start my weekly um, blogs, my weekly tasks. My weekly spread that's the word um and but for now i'm gonna go back and fill out some stuff here so the 22nd is thanksgiving and i know that because oh wait where's the 25th thanksgiving no it's always a thursday that would be the 25th oh no what day is thanksgiving it's definitely the 22nd yes it is because my family's coming back okay um, Thanksgiving. What else do I have going on in November? Not much of anything, I don't think. Okay, it happened again. I was recording and it just stopped recording. Um, it looked like I was filling out things in November and I wrote in some monthly goals here that I talked about in the clip that didn't record. I don't know why this keeps happening because this is the second time, but that's like way more than it should be. Anyway, so some of my monthly goals, breathing two boats, um, getting my 100 mile pin for hiking, lose five pounds because I know I've gained a little bit of weight since I graduated and I want to try and keep that off and then apply to five jobs because I want to make sure I have a job lined up after my internship. All right, so that is all that I'm going to do for my November monthly spread. Um, flip it back to the cover page here. If you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did. I know it was a bit more minimal than some of my other spreads. Um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe as well. As of now, I believe we're at 65 subscribers. And by the end of the year, I'm trying to get to 100. And if we can do that, then I'll give a giveaway. I just have to do a little research and figure out how giveaways really work from my end of the cable um or my end of the camera i guess i don't know what i'm trying to say but if we get to 100 subscribers by the end of the year then we'll do a giveaway so if you haven't already make sure that you subscribe and um join us every week usually thursdays for um planner related videos also, if you have any ideas of videos that you would like to see, let me know in the comments below and I can try and see um, if I can help you out there. Like I said, like the video if you enjoyed it and su subscribe down below. And I will see you all next week. Bye!